Welcome back to Adventures in Reach. Today I'm talking about some camp hacks. It's not super visible, but there is a grade to this hill. And if you look under my pad, I have two jackets. So in the back, I have my paddle jacket or splash jacket. And then here I have my rain jacket. So I put my pad down on that so it's one edge is kind of blocked up and now it creates this nice little scoop in here and so it's very level and doesn't feel like you're rolling all night which for me if i feel like i'm rolling i just don't sleep very well when it's cold at night it's tempting to cover your entire head when you do that you end up trapping the moisture from your breath inside your bag so are you colder when you're dry or when you're wet. Of course it's when you're wet. So what you want to do is cinch this mummy bag up with the two strings here. One's for the hood, one's for the chin area. You want to cinch it up so that you have a tiny little hole to breathe out of about like that. And then your moisture can escape and the air is not coming in. If you've also wondered, some of the bags have little baffles inside they kind of go across your neck. So you have the cinch here, and then you have a baffle across your neck. That's to keep the warm air down around your core, and then the only cool air exchange, if it gets in, is only going to happen above the shoulders. When you can't stick a stake in because you're on solid rock, what I do is I take a stick and put the strap around the stick, and then put a rock in front of it, and then two on top of it on each side. Pull that tight, and it holds quite a bit of weight. So keep that in mind as well. Now, the other thing is if you can get a stake in, like right here, you can get a stake in, but not very far. It's a long way of sticking out. I stick it in as much as I can, and then lean this rock partly on the strap and partly on the stake just to keep it from tipping up. And again, this holds quite a bit of weight. What often happens with tents is that you tighten it up when you get to camp, when you go to bed and the moisture kind of drops from the air as it gets cooler, the tent sags. Now, you want to make sure that you go around and tighten this before you go to bed, even if it was tight originally. That'll keep it taut, keep it uh, circulating air and breathing through the night so that you have less condensation and less chance to um, push against the two layers and get wet in the night. If you've ever used a white gas stove like this and tried to simmer, one thing you probably found is that it's not totally possible all the time. So the way that you can simmer is to do this. You simply let the pressure out, okay? Tighten it up again and just give it three pumps instead of 30 and light it up again and now you'll have just that small uh, flame that you want. If it starts to go out, just one more pump at a time, and that'll keep this simmering with any stove, whether it's meant to simmer or not. I'm sure when you're loading bags, you can kind of roll them down, give you a nice uh, kind of rim to work with. It'll keep it upright. I'm gonna make an omelet in a bag. So I boiled some water. Uh, so I've got some eggs here. Okay, next I brought some chopped peppers. Throw all those in there. I have some onions left over from my dinner last night. I don't usually bring containers of stuff, but I'm sailing, you know, why not? I'm gonna stick a bunch of cheese in there. And then all you gotta do is just mix this up in here. Seal this off, I like to get the air out of it so that you have the smallest 
impossible thing to stick in there. Dunk this in the water. Well, not dunk, but hold, soak it in the water. And it's going to take a few minutes. Uh, you know, you try to keep it off the bottom so you don't melt the bag, of course. Yeah, it's nice, well cooked. I'm going to go eat. I've had it happen before that just leaving camp for a few moments to grab some firewood or go to the bathroom or, you know, take a short little hike to explore. The mice or chipmunks have bothered my food bag. So here is a good way to deal with that. You can hang a, a line across, put a loop over the line and a stick through it. You can hang it up very quickly and easily. When it's time to take your bag down, I use this uh, mosquito beater powder, just poured some in a bag, sprinkled it around camp, and I think I've seen two, maybe three mosquitoes since being here after I put this down. Bomber your camp. Whenever I go to bag, all my dry bags or pack or whatever are always going to be sealed up and weighed down with something. I had a rock here last night so that if it rains, if it gets windy, even if it's not expected, that you have a camp that is not going to get your stuff wet. So just make sure that you are prepared in case the weather changes unexpectedly. That way you're not going to have to get up in the middle of the night to deal with any of it. If you're traveling with a life jacket, uh, PFD, I always take this into the tent as well because now you've got a nice foam uh, piece that if you get a lightning storm, you know, you can just, you can sit on this, get into your lightning position or whatever. Um, it's not something that you're going to be doing very often and I mean, hopefully never, but it, it will come up when you get a lightning storm as close and then you've got a chunk of foam to insulate you from the ground. I have this lantern up here. It's just kind of held up by a rope that I strung across camp above head level. It's a Lucky or Lucy Lucky, I don't know, L-U-C-I. Seems pretty bright. I mean, you can play cards under this. You know, if I stand under here, I mean, I'm sure you can see my face and all. It actually works pretty well. I can see around to walk. I, I don't, you know, worry about tripping on things. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to like or subscribe. Also, check out the video that you see on your screen now and know that there's a lot more tips, uh, adventures, and inspiration waiting for you. See you next time.